What's up guys, my name is Nick and welcome to TV Box Top. Today I feature a native 1080p projector from the brand Ultimia and this one is called the Apollo 20. For only $89.99 with an exclusive coupon, this model falls within the medium sized category yet it delivers modern features with a pretty decent picture display. So to find out all there is to know about this model, stay tuned, my full review is up next. This model has a native resolution of 1080p. It has 300 ANSI lumens. It has aspect ratios of 4 to 3 and 16 to 9. It has Bluetooth 5.1 audio. Maximum viewing distance of 3.88 meters, which delivers a 153 inches display. Its light source is LED and its display is LCD. And it has a 3 watts built in speaker. So, welcome back. And in this purchase, you get the usual projector contents and these include the projector itself, one infrared remote control, one HDMI cable, one AC power cable, one auxiliary cable, a lint-free cleaning cloth, a screw type kickstand, and its user manual. So it has a pretty attractive design with curved edges measuring 9 inches wide by 7.5 inches long by 3.3 inches tall. To its front has a front facing IR sensor and a lens cover for its projector lens. For IO ports, to the side it has two HDMI inputs, a headphone jack, one auxiliary port, two USB 2.0 ports and its exhaust vent. To the other side, it has an intake vent and its DC power socket. To its rear, it has a rear facing IR sensor, a vent for its internal speaker and another for its internal cooling fan. To the top, it has manual press button controls with an LED power button, a very sturdy focus adjustment wheel and a vertical keystone adjustment lever. And to its base, it has four anti-skid rubber feet, a screw type kickstand which can also be used for mounting to a tripod or single pole ceiling mount. So upon first startup, you are greeted by an Ultimia splash screen, then the option to select your language, followed by its main menu. At 8 feet, 2.4 meters, it produces a 77 inches display, but it can display up to 153 inches at 3.88 meters. Its main menu is pretty standard, with shortcuts to access media connected to its USB ports, such as pen drives and external hard drives. It has a shortcut to its Bluetooth settings. Below here are shortcuts to access its various source inputs and a shortcut to its settings area. The settings area is divided into four sections, video, audio, projection, and universal. Under video settings, you have your picture mode where you can select from a number of presets or you can set your own custom settings. You can adjust its color temperature, change its aspect ratio from 4 to 3 or 16 to 9, and you have zoom settings. Under sound settings, you can select from various presets or you can set your own treble and bass levels. You have surround sound audio options and auto volume leveling option. Under projection settings is where you can change its projection direction. And under universal settings, you can change its language, on screen duration timer, sleep timer settings. You can restore to factory default and you have software updates via USB. This model does not feature Wi-Fi for screen mirroring. For playing videos from media connected directly to its USB ports such as pen drives and external hard drives, you are limited to 1080p videos only. It also cannot play videos encoded with Dolby or DTS audio formats. I dream the same dream. Man. The nightmare begins. 
Aliens. I did. For office documents, it does not come with WPS Office Suite, so the only document it can read is notepad files with the TXT extension. For playing photos in a loop, you simply open the folder containing your images and open the first image and it will automatically loop through all images in that folder. It also has a transition feature for the images. For connecting certified streaming devices such as the Google Chromecast and Amazon Fire TV streaming devices, I was surprised that it's compatible with both the Chromecast which has HDCP 2.3 protection and the new Amazon Fire TV Cube and it can play both devices with audio. something no bigger than the palm of my hand. Its internal speaker is loud enough to fill a small to medium sized room. However, it comes with Bluetooth audio, which allows it to pair to Bluetooth headphones, speakers and AV receivers. So to use this feature, put your Bluetooth speaker or AV receiver in Bluetooth pairing mode. Open the Bluetooth settings in the main menu. Turn on the Bluetooth feature and perform a search for your device. Once it appears in the list of detected devices, select it to pair to it. So my AV receiver is now connected via Bluetooth. And to demonstrate its optimal display quality, I connected an Android TV box via its HDMI port and I'll now play some 4K HDR videos and Dolby Vision videos and have the projector downscale them to 1080p. To test for latency during gaming, here I'm playing Grid 2 on my gaming PC connected to one of its HDMI ports. The quality you get is great and there is no latency or I would have difficulty staring or breaking during gameplay. And finally, to measure its fan noise, from a distance of 1 meter, it generates 41 decibels, which is around the standard noise level for most projectors. In summary, the Apollo P20 gives you the bare minimum when it comes to projector features. However, it does so really well, with great display and audio features. It's compatible with the Google Chromecast and Amazon Fire TV devices and I did not experience any latency during gaming. The only downside is that it does not have Wi-Fi, screen mirroring, horizontal keystone correction or corner keystone correction. So you can get it for only $89.89 .89 on their website with my exclusive coupon or you can get it already reduced to this price on Amazon with an additional $25 discount coupon reducing it even further to $64.99. So to take advantage, use the link in the description below. 
So thanks for watching. Special thanks to today's sponsor Ultimia for sending their projector for review. If you enjoyed the presentation, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to purchase, leave me a tip by using the link in the description below to purchase. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and ringing the notifications bell to be notified each time I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video, stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next one.